Hey guys, it's Brett, your independent Sensi consultant. I'm here with my quarterly Sensi club haul. It's been a minute since I've had a club haul because actually I skipped my September, no, not my September, my December shipment. So, in case you're new, Sensi Club is a subscription service where you can, it's free to create a subscription. You just put your name and your bro, shipping address, all that stuff, and a payment method, and then you subscribe. You can either do monthly, bi-monthly, or quarterly. And then you can put, basically what's in your subscription club is any bars you want or any consumable item that you have to use up. Those are things you can put into club. You can't put warmers or anything like that. But like, I do mostly bars. Like, I always get my bar. So if like a bar comes out, you really, really love it, and you always want to get it, and you're afraid that when it goes away, like if it's a limited time offer collection and you want to keep getting it, and you know it's about to go away, just throw it in your club, and then you'll keep getting it every one month, every two months, or every three months. You can get three bars a month, four bars a month, 10 bars a month, or 10 bars every three months, one bar every three months, a little over as much as you want. And you can always take away the bars if you decide you don't want it anymore, you can take them out, you can reduce the amounts, you, you can reduce the amounts, but you can't up the amounts unless it's currently available. If it's currently available, you can raise the amounts, but if it's not available anymore, you can lower the amounts, but you can't raise the amounts of bars if it's not currently available. I really like that because there's a lot of these bars in here are ones that I've really, really liked. It can get you in some trouble though because anything you like, you want to throw in your club because you're like, I don't want to ever, I don't want to not be able to get that if it goes away. So you have to be really careful not to, it's real easy to want to throw everything in your club that you like. So you try to reserve that for things you really, 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 really love or something that's kind of unique that's not, there's not a lot of sense kind of like it. I'm trying to do that. If it's something that's not exactly, there's not, a lot of things like it, then I'll put it in my club. Sometimes I'll I'll get tired of something and I'll just take it out of my club. But anyway, so I have a quarterly club. So it ships out every three months. You're allowed one skip per calendar year. So I usually skip it once a year. Uh, so I've been the last few years skipping my December shipment. So it ships out in March, June, September, and December. But I skip my December, so I so it's only been shipping out in March, June, September. So the last shipment I got was Pat last September of 2024. I'm sorry, 2023, September of 2023. And then I was due to receive a shipment in uh, December of 2023, but I skipped that. I used that as my skip. So then it was due to ship again in March of 2024. But I found out this little trick, a little hack they call it, where you can if you go in, your, if you go in to your Sensei Club and you change your, there's different ways you can do this. This is the way I did it. If you just, I went in and changed it from a quarterly club to a monthly club. So I changed my frequency from quarterly to monthly. And then when it changes to monthly, it'll, it'll change it to, I think, I forget, it changes it to, come out monthly but it doesn't ship out right away so don't worry about that but then once you ship it I think it ships out maybe the next month when you change it to monthly I think is how that went anyway but what I did is I changed it to monthly and then right after that I went right back in and I changed it back to a quarterly and then it skips two months some people thought it skips three months again but it only skipped two months so so when I did that in March the beginning of March because it was set to ship out at the middle of March I believe so in the middle, beginning part of March, I did that. I went to a monthly and then immediately went back in and changed it to a quarterly. And then it moved my shipment date out till May. So I basically just skipped two more months without losing any of my bars. So I could have done that again, I think, in the beginning of May. I could have went in, changed it back to a monthly, and then went right back in, changed it back to quarterly. Probably would have pushed it out two more months till July. But I was ready to get these because it had been, what, uh, October, November, December, January, February, March, eight months. Eight months since I've had any of these bars, so I was ready to get some of them. So, um, but I think you can do that. I don't, I'm not positive you'd be able to do it that many times. And just be aware, that's just something people figured out. But you got to be careful because you never know what could 
happen by doing that. I just took a chance on doing that. Hopefully it wouldn't get messed up and somehow you lose your bars. But you are for sure legitimately allowed to skip once a year. The other hack that I learned that's just at your own risk. Do that at your own risk. All right, so I'm going to show you what I got. I have 27 bars in my club, in my quarter leg club. This is the biggest it's been. I did take some stuff up, but I some stuff out, but I did add some stuff from the last um, bring back my bar because they had sold out before it ended, and I wanted it. I was just going to order some more before when I closed out a party before the bring back my bar was over, but some of those bars are sold out. But then later come to find out you were able to order them still and then they just ship them out later after they came back in stock i think or something like that anyway i didn't know realize that so i just put through like four bars in my club there was some that i did want to club and a couple that i just i may not keep in my club we'll see anyway so first i'm going to show you my hat price item because with sensei club if you have 30 or more dollars in a club you automatically get 10 percent off of everything in your club and if you have 60 or more dollars in your club, you get a half price item. So for my half price item, since I had $60, over $60 in there, I usually do a brick because they have bricks in Sensei Club. That's the only place you can get a brick right now. Sometimes they'll have a little LTO like spring bricks. We had spring bricks last year, but we didn't have any spring bricks this year. And then last fall, we had, fall and winter, we had some um, bricks in the catalog, but there's no spring um, bricks or you no know, spring and summer bricks in the catalog either so we'll see what they do this fall but the only place currently you can get bricks is in Sensi Club and I usually do that for my half price item because that's a good deal because they're $24 so you get half off you get them for $12 but this time I decided to try something different I've been curious about these um, I've heard lots of people aren't really crazy about these but I wanted to try them for myself just to see how they were they are the cotton cleanups the new cotton cleanups so they are littler than they normally were if you can see there's 25 in here and they look like marshmallows they look like pretty much the size of a marshmallow let me open this up here and I'll show you one close up here so I they used to be like I said bigger yeah it's like pretty much like the size of a marshmallow maybe like a jumbo marshmallow yeah and it's got the little handle on the bottom here that you can hold on to and then you just put it into the warmer these are going to be really good for like mini warmers because sometimes the ones they had before were bigger they were probably like i say another like two of these together maybe two yeah probably two maybe two and a half probably just like two of these together this you know it was about so so big i don't know but you could fit those right into a regular full-size warmer, the round ones that would fit right in there. But then sometimes if you had a mini warmer, it was hard to get that big cotton cleanup in the mini warmer. You would kind of have to turn it on its side and kind of maneuver it. That's the only thing I didn't like about the cotton, like about the cotton cleanups is sometimes you would have to kind of like, it would absorb, but then you'd have to roll it on its side to kind of get all the wax absorbed into there. It was kind of a, it wasn't my favorite thing. To be honest, I wasn't, I only got cotton cleanups just a few times. I normally use just the super jumbo cotton balls and those are really hard to find now too. The only place I can find those are my local uh, Hy-Vee grocery store. It's the only place I can find the really big cotton balls, super jumbo cotton balls like I like. Um, a lot of people said Walmart, but my Walmart don't carry the real big ones. Um, uh, our local Price Chopper grocery store used to, but they quit. Now they just have the, it says I think triple size or something, but they're not, they're real little. But hy V, they carry the real big ones like I like, so I get those there. But I thought I would try these out I, and see how they do. Like I said, I might just, I'll probably do these in my mini warmers because they'll be really good just to do in my mini warmers. Because um, if you did it in a full size warmer, I usually, use, it looks, I think this will probably take maybe one cube of wax in this, maybe one and a half. I don't know if two cubes of wax would fit in this because that's what I use in my full size warmers is two cubes of wax. I don't know if this would do two cubs, two cubes, maybe a cube and a half, like I said. Um, in my mini warmers, I usually do one to two cubes. Sometimes one, sometimes two. I don't, it's, like I said, I don't know if it would do the whole thing if it was two, but we'll see. So I'll try them out. And I'm, I agree with everybody else. I think I'm fine with them 
bringing these out if you want to use them for your mini warmers, but I think they should should have kept the old ones and kept these too. So they'd offer both in case you wanted either or. We'll see if they bring the other ones back. All right, now I'm going to go over my bars. All the rest of ours, like I said, um, I'm not going to go over too much about these because it'll be way too long if I just talk into too much detail about these. I'm just going to kind of give you a quick overview of what I have. All right, so first up we have Cozy Fireside. This has been in my club for a while. I love this. It's warm, spice notes, zesty, ginger, and cinnamon. I put the scent notes here on the front. I have a little label maker that I got off Amazon that I really like um, to print the scent notes on here. That way, like when I do empties and stuff, when I use it and put in my empties, I just have the notes to refer to so I don't have to look them up and everything or try to remember what they were. Um, it takes a little time to do that, but I try to do that when I can. I have a box of wax that I've got. I, stuff I've been getting in, I've just been putting in this box to try to label up. I just have not got around to it. So I have this box of wax just sitting there. Just it, I keep adding to it because it takes some time to do this. And then I also usually put a little sticker here, a little round sticker with the month and the year. That way when I put them in my stash, I can always, I always try to melt the oldest one first. Anyway, back to Cozy Fireside. Warm spice notes, zesty, ginger, and cinnamon. cinnamon. Do I hear a tornado siren? We're under a tornado watch and it's been storming and I thought I just heard a tornado siren. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to check the news and everything, make sure there wasn't a tornado coming. I knew we were under a tornado watch, but like, it's not even, it's sunny right now. It, this sky looks pretty clear right now. It was raining and storming, but now it cleared up and it suns out, even though there's still a watch. I checked the news and they were saying that there's, uh, was the sighting somewhere not close to here. It was pretty far, not real far away, but like a few hours or so away. But like, yeah, I think the siren stopped now. So I just had to check on that because I heard those sirens going off. Didn't know if I needed to take cover, but okay, I think we're good. All right, anyway, cozy fireside. Uh, warm spice notes, it says zesty ginger and cinnamon. This is so good. Mm, yeah, it's very such good spice there's a lot of spice in this very warm but that ginger you really get the ginger with that cinnamon mm, i really love that ginger with that cinnamon so good this kind of reminds me of cloven cinnamon but with ginger added to it and it yeah it's got like a warmth almost not really a smokiness per se but like i don't know it kind of reminds you of like kind of gives you like a fireside kind of a vibe even though it's not really smoky really really good though i like that one a lot then we have Fall Feeling. This was new from last uh, fall and winter, and I put it in my club because I don't want to be without it. I stocked up and got quite a few bars, but I'm, it's still in my club. Blood Orange Sugar Cranberry Juniper Sprigs Sparkling Clove. This is so good. God, I love it. I love it. Not everybody loved this one, and I'm so surprised because <laughs> it's so good. I'm just like, I'm so shocked that so many people did not like this. God, it's so good. It's just to me everything fall. It's just like total epitome of fall to me. This is very, it's very similar. It gives me leaves from Bath and Body Works. It's very similar to that. It's not exactly like it, but it's, it's fairly close to that. It's such a good fall scent though. I love it. I had it going one day last fall and the windows were open. A cool fall crisp breeze was coming in. And this was just blowing through the air. It was amazing. Love that. Next we have Twitter Pated. This was in Bring Back My Bar and also in the uh, Mother's Day collection, I believe. Meyer Lemon, Morning Dew Drops, Wild Moss. Um, I don't think any of these are available right now, as a matter of fact. None of these in my club are available right now. But I'm going to talk about them in case you they ever come back and you might decide you want to try it. This is good. Yeah, this is so good. It's got a greenness. I really get those the Wild Moss in here. I don't get much lemon. There's a little lemon, but the Wild Moss and like the Dew drops, kind of, but man, that wild moss is so good. It's got that greenness to it, fresh, watery kind of greenness. Mmm, so good, really good. Like it. Of course, I like, I love all these actually. Flower shop, just like, just like walking into a flower shop. This was in Bring Back My Bar a while back. Mmm, so good, and it is exactly like that. It's just like you are when you walk in a flower shop, like when you. Uh, open like the refrigerator doors with the roses and stuff and flowers in there it, it smells just like that it's like the the stems and the flowers like the cut stems and everything 
the clippings of the flowers. And then the flower is not like any certain flower, it's just like a mishmash of floral with the green stems. So good. And then we have painted leaves. This was in Bring Back My Bar a while back. Blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. Yeah, this is good. This is a. Uh, mmm, it's got kind of a. It's almost got a little bit of a eucalyptus y kind of vibe to it. Yeah, this is good. It kind of. Um, some people said it reminds of Autumn Road Trip, I think is what some people compared it to. I feel like it kind of gives me sweater weather vibes from Bath and Body Works a little bit. But yeah, that's good. It's a strong one, too. Very strong. Next is Hemingway. This was from Bring Back My Bar. A, a little bit ago, apple, sandalwood, cedar, hints of spice. Ah, oh, yeah, I love it. And I'm out of, uh, I have no more Hemingway right now, so I kind of wish I had more than one bar in my club, but, and plus I skipped quite a few months, so I, I, I'm, this is the only one I got, and I gotta make it last. So good. Ah, oh, the spices are so good in there. A little apple, sandalwood, I like the little bit of cedar. A little incense a little bit, really good. Um, painted leaves I'm completely out of too. I have some flower shop. I ha I'm out of Twitter painted. I have fall feeling. Uh, I think I'm out of cozy fireside too. And crazy coconut. This was in the last Bring Back My Bar. This is the one that had sold out. So I put it through my club to get some more. Uh, so I don't have any more of this either. Uh, coconut milk mixed fruit and vanilla ice cream. I really like this one. I did really like it. Uh, this is a different packaging too because the packaging for Bring Back, Bring Back My Bar had like the kids, uh, it had like a bicycle on there and it essentially was written in that kids collection thing that came out, but this isn't. This is just the regular, uh, the regular bar. It's not that bicycle picture on there. This was good. I really like, I like Sensi's Coconut. Some people aren't crazy about, they get like a waxiness from Sensi's Coconut. I can see where they're coming from, but I like, I don't mind it. I like their coconut quite a bit. There's quite a few coconuts that I like from Sensi actually. This one did have a little bit of that mixed fruit. And it kind of gave you kind of ice cream, but a little, almost maybe like sherbet too, a little bit maybe kind of. There's a slight, slight bit of creaminess in there, but it was nice. Not sure if this will stay in my club, but uh, it's in there for now anyway. Next is Mediterranean Spa, and I I think I might have one more bar of this maybe. Relax with this smooth, fresh, and breezy scent. This is so good. Um, I I get kind of like a lemongrass in here. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a, some kind of lemon in here. It's like a, like a lemongrass almost. But like kind of like spa-like, fresh. Dang, right now, why am I getting like, some reason I'm getting kind of like a peppery note for some reason right now. Why am I getting that? I don't usually get that. Hmm, that's weird. I've never gotten that before. Hmm, smells good though. I still like it. Yeah, really good. This is perfect one for when you've cleaned the house. Just make freshen up the house. Next is blue coconut beach. Another coconut. Lush palm leaf, creamy coconut, and whipped vanilla. Love this one. Yeah, this is so good. This definitely has the coconut, but like does have that lush palm leaf, a little bit of greenness in there, which I'm all for the greens, you know me, you know I love my greens. So uh, whipped vanilla, a little, little bit of vanilla. That's such a good blend though, really like that. Um, I struggle between this and ocean air and coconut water, but for this performs better for me personally than ocean air and coconut water did, so I put this in my club. I just like this just a touch more than that one, but I do really like uh, ocean air and coconut water, but that's not in my club though. Next is, Frozen 2 Fearless by Nature. Love this. this. is a Oh, this is in my top. This might be my top five bars of Scentsy. I, don't ask me what they are because I, I go back and forth on what my top five are. So when I say that, it, it probably could be up there, but I, I go back and forth on my top five. So, but it, it could be my easily my top ten. Wildflowers, Sage and Woods. Oh yeah, I love the Sage in this. The Sage is my favorite thing in this. Mm, God, it's so good. So good, so strong. You do get a little bit of uh, woods and the wildflowers, but that sage is what makes it for me. I love it. It just fills up the whole house. So good. Next, we have Frosted Cinnamon Roll. This was uh, in this uh, Scent of the Month last 
uh, September, I believe it was, and it came out with the Witch Warmer. Really good. I debated on putting this in my club, but I decided to at the last minute before it went away because I'm a, I was afraid if it didn't come back, I would regret it because I did really like this. Powdered cinnamon, sweet clove with vanilla sugar. Yeah, this is so good. I really get the, uh, the bakeriness out of this. The more I warm this, I, the more I would get the bakery note. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. For sure, powdered cinnamon, a little bit of clove, which is kind of weird for a cinnamon roll, and the vanilla sugar. But yeah, I really get the bakeriness. It doesn't say bakeriness in the in bakery in the notes at all, except for the title, cinnamon roll. But you do get that kind of a bready bakery note to me. I, every time I warm it, I get that more and more. Next, we have another pump, a pumpkin scent, actually. Haunted Mansion. Three thumbs up from Haunted Mansion. All spice, pumpkin, cinnamon, and ginger. Yeah, this one's really good. A lot of people like this one. This was really popular um, when it came back out again. This has been out before and it came back out. This was the first time I had it this last fall. Yeah, I get all that. I really like the allspice in there because for sure the pumpkin and uh, cinnamon, but then the ginger and the allspice really add to it. Yeah, the allspice gives it a little bit of a different feel than what your typical pumpkin scents do. There's also just a little bit of a bread note in here. A lot of people have said that they get like a bread note in there. I don't get a strong bread note. I do get a slight hint of like a bread note in there, but I mostly get the pumpkin, allspice, cinnamon, ginger, and then just like a little undertone of like, of a bread kind of a smell in there. This is really strong too. It fills the whole area wherever it is, could travel into other rooms. This performs way better than pumpkin cinnamon roll or pumpkin roll for me. So that's why it's in my club. And next up, Disney Cinderella Happily Ever After. I really like this one, so I decided to put it in my club. It's Gardenia, Forget Me Not, and Frosted Lemon. Definitely four, but so pretty. Oh, the gardenia in here with that uh, Forget Me Nots. Ah, oh, such a such a pretty scent. When I had this going, it was just so pretty. I mean, this is the, I mean, pretty. That's all you can say with this one. But it's so nice. It's not too heady floral or overpowering, but it's definitely there. You can definitely smell it. Really, I love gardenia. Um, Frosted lemon, I don't really get a lot of frosted lemon, but I still like it. And then next up, this was from Bring Back My Bar, the last round, Simply Patchouli. I really like this. I was one of the ones that liked it. A lot of people didn't. There was just a few of us that really liked this, and I was one of them. Um, so I think the real action notes when this came out just says something about just simply patchouli. But I found some notes online that said, pure patchouli wood, oriental spiciness, and warm, earthy, and warm, earthy, and spicy. So that kind of describes it, really. Yeah, it's warm, earthy, and spicy, and you get the oriental spiciness, that patchouli wood. It's a dirty patchouli. It's, it's a dirty patchouli. It can almost be called dirty patchouli. Oh, I really like it, though. If you like patchouli scents, uh, it... It kind of along the lines of like patchouli from Yankee Candle, but this has way more dirt. Definitely has that dirt note in there. I love it though. It's very earthy because of that dirt in there with that patchouli. Yeah, I like it. Um, one is okay. I would only do this in occasionally. It's not something I would want all the time. So one every three months or however I get it <laughs> would be okay for me for that one. Next up, Rustic Lodge. I... I'm out of this one. I've had it for a while in my club and I'm out. So I was happy to get this because I've been out for a while. I thought I had more, but I didn't. Cedar, oak, musk, wood smoke, and fallen leaves. Oh, this is so good. There's a little bit of patchouli in here a little bit, I feel. But it's not straight up earthy patchouli like that other one is. Simply patchouli, this has definitely got, um, it's got like the cedar, like it says cedar, oak. Yeah, uh, this musky. Fallen leaves, wood smoke. Not real smoky, but it's got kind of a smoky element, kind of like Cozy Fireside had a smoky element to it. This kind of does too, without being like really, really smoky though. It kind of reminds you of a cabin in the woods type of a thing. Yeah. Love that one too. Next we have Cucumber Lime. A lot of these from, for, from Bring Back My Bar. I do a lot of Bring Back My Bars in Sensei Club because I know 
those aren't going to come back for a while. So I just I throw in my club because I know we're, it's going to be a long time before we see them again. Most of the time. Uh, ripe cucumbers, tangy limes, and green leafy mix. I love this. God, this is such a good cucumber green scent. Oh yeah, so good and fresh and summery. Mmm, I love the mixture of that cucumber with the limes. And the, a little bit of green leafy mint. I don't know if I get mint really, but I do get a green nose. Green, green, and a lime and cucumber. Yes, yes, yes. Next we have vanilla cream. Uh, I asked, I have quite a few of these left. Focus. There we go. I have quite a few of these. Uh, I think I have like three, maybe. I mean, that's not a lot, but more than what I have any of the other ones. French vanilla with a touch of coconut milk. Yeah, it's really good. It's exactly that. You get the vanilla, little coconut milk. Very creamy. Really good. This is just a pure vanilla scent to me. Uh, it's not any kind of body care. Like the new Very Vanilla is like a kind of a perfumey vanilla. I love that one too. But this isn't perfumey like that at all. I even feel like Simply Vanilla has a little bit of perfumey element to it. But this is just vanilla. It's not vanilla bean buttercream. It doesn't have buttercream, but there, it's just like a vanilla, a creamy vanilla. But it's good, really good. And it performs pretty well for me. Next we have Scary Good. I decided to throw this in my club because I was afraid maybe, there was talk that maybe it may not come back next year for this fall and winter. So I'm like, maybe I better club it because it's one of, uh, one of my favorites too. Pumpkin puree, cinnamon, toasted butterscotch, and creamy vanilla. And I like I like the packaging with the pump jack o' lanterns on there. This is really good. Oh yeah, I uh, so good. Definitely pumpkin. You get a touch of a butterscotch in there, but um, pumpkin puree, cinnamon, toasted butterscotch. I get a toastedness in there. Creamy vanilla. I do get a toastiness in there. This almost almost has like a little bit of a kind of a little bit of a smokiness in there. There's a little bit of kind of a smokiness in there. It's so good though. And this performs really good for me. Otherwise it wouldn't be in my club. Um, most of these in my club are pretty good performers. There might be some that are a little bit on the lighter side, but I really love them anyway, so I put them in my club. But um, most of them are fairly good performers. Next is Pink Sunshine. Pear, plum, cashmere, rose milk. This was from uh, Valentine's Day last year. I love this. Oh God, it's so good. I actually warmed this a few months ago to see if I wanted to keep it in my club and I kept it in my club. It's so good, it performs so good too. Uh, I love the mixture of the rose milk with like the pear and the plum and the cashmere is really nice in here. That cashmere and the rose in here Ooh, so pretty. Yes. And I just opened my dish soap of this because they had it in dish soap. Uh, I think it was in the whiff box. They also have this in um, uh, a cleaning bundle, LTO cleaning bundle. They have it in the counter clean, I believe. And uh, so we have the counter clean. And I think, what else was it in? The bathroom? Is it the bathroom cleaner? Maybe the bathroom cleaner. I know the counter clean. I think also the bathroom cleaner. All right, next up is Peter Pan, Tinkerbell Sweet and Sassy. Love this. Tangerine, Kiwi, Cucumber Blossom, Musk, and Pixie Dust. God, it's so good. It's so good. Mmm, gotta love this. Yeah, so the tangerine is good, but you definitely get the kiwi mixed in with the tangerine. With a little bit of floral from the Cucumber Blossom is really blended in really nice. A little musky. Of course, pixie dust, they just threw that in there. Don't really have, there's no really smell of pixie dust. Not such, no such thing, but uh, yeah. Fruity, slightly florally, musky, so good. And a great performer. Next up, Homestead Holiday. Blood orange, cinnamon, and fur needle. I almost didn't put this in my club, but I decided to throw a bar in there because I warmed it and I ended up, I warmed it again before I went away and I really liked it. So I'm like, let me throw it in my club. Yeah, this is really good. Very good wintry scent. Definitely a holiday scent for sure. 
yeah. Uh, you definitely get blood orange and cinnamon, a little, yeah. But that fur needle, it's not overly fur needle. It's not like, this isn't really like a Christmas tree scent. I say it leans more blood orange and, what was the other thing? Cinnamon. Blood orange, cinnamon, blood orange. And then with the undertone of that fur needle. So it's, it's more heavy on the blood orange and cinnamon than it is like the fur needle. So it just has a little undertone of like a Christmas tree, but really good. Next up is Hocus Pocus Sanderson Sisters Perfectly Wicked, really good. Blackberry, black plum, cherry, cherry spiced vanilla. Yeah, really good. As you've heard, it's similar to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Yes, man, it smells really cherry in here now. I'm getting a lot of cherry in the bottom. Really good, I love it. This one's really strong. This is another one that I thought, do I want to keep that in my club? And I warmed it. It's staying. It is staying. Next up is Amaretto. This was from the last spring break my bar, and I stocked up on this, and I think I got like six of them, but I also threw it in my club. I love this. It says almond, honey, and spice. Yeah, it's exactly like, it's so almond extracty. It's so very heavy on almond extract to me. I mean, yeah, you get some honey and spice, maybe a little bit. I don't get a lot of honey, really. But, I mean, it does smell like the liqueur, the amaretto liqueur kind of smells like this, but there's no booziness or anything in here, though. But, definitely has, yeah, it smells a lot like that, though, but, uh, yeah, the almond extracty, though, almondy, ah, so good, and it's really strong. I love it. I love almond scents. Next up, we have Mint To Be Merry. This was uh, November's scent of the month. Crushed candy cane, sparkling sugar, and creamy butter cookie. Yeah, this is a peppermint and sugar cookie. Definitely peppermint bakery. That sugar cookie in here is so good. It really comes through, too. That was the best part of this, was that sugar cookie that came through with that peppermint. God, it's so good. It's kind of similar to, uh, was it peppermint sugar cookie from Bath & Body Works? If you like that, this is pretty much the same. So good. I know I've been saying they're all so good because they all are so good. And happy birthday is next. Sugar, whipped cream, warm vanilla extract. Yeah. I love this one. It's just birthday cake. Mmm. This is amazing. Ah, birthday cake and the frosting. Yeah. It says whipped cream, but I get like, like a frosting. Sugar, vanilla extract. You do get cakiness in there, the bakery cake in there. It's mostly white cake. A lot of people talk about how they get like a marble cake with this. I kind of get kind of hints of that maybe. I can see maybe a touch of like a chocolate in there, but it's mostly a white cake to me. Yeah, and some people say funfetti cake. I can see that, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Really good and strong, just like most of these. And then churro churro is baked pastry sprinkled with cinnamon sugar. Yeah, this is really nice. Now this one here is, it's not as strong as some of these others are, but it is, I smell it pretty well. Some of these, some people struggle with the scent throw on this one. I, I can smell it fairly well. It's not real strong, but it's a good light medium to medium-ish. I can definitely smell it, but I love what I smell. So this is the one, like I said, I maybe kind of wish it was just a touch stronger, but I, I still, I'm fine with it the way it is. I can definitely smell it. I just love it so much. That, exactly, what is this, baked pastry? You really get that uh, fried baked pastry with that cinnamon sugar. Mm, yeah. And then lastly, we have B-A-N-A-N-A-S, bananas. This was from Bring Back My Bar, the last round, and I warmed it and threw it in my club. I believe this is one, I think it sold out before Burn Back My Bar was over, but I did want to put it in my club because I loved it. It, it was, I did it in my open concept and it was, it would did really good in my open concept, which sometimes banana scents kind of struggle. You don't, they don't come out really strong, banana scents, but this did. Tropical banana, coconut milk, and island vanilla. Yeah, it's really good. It's an island banana. It's a tropical banana. 
Oh, that's so good. Mmm, this is, this is one of my favorite bananas, I think. Yeah, it's definitely tropical. You get the island vanilla. It, it, it coconut milk. There's a little coconut with the banana. Maybe that's why it's even tropical, because that coconut milk gives it like a coconut feel to the banana. Yeah, it's like, I say it's more banana than coconut. But that coconut is in there to kind of give it that tropical feel. But the banana does come through really well, and it performed really good, even in my open concept. So, this in my club. Some of those that I got from Brim Rabba Bar, like I said, I don't know how long they're going to stay in my club. We'll see. But um, my club is getting to the point where I don't want to add a whole lot more. I'm, it's just under $200. It was like $170 something with tax and shipping is what it cost for all these bars. I don't personally don't want to go over $200 for my quarterly club. So it's, I'm going to have to start making cuts because there's going to be more stuff I'm going to be wanting to add to it. And it's gonna go over 200 if I keep adding to it very shortly. It'll go over 200, so I'm gonna to have to make some tough cuts. Bring back my bars coming up next month. Uh, well, it's coming up in July, but we will be, we'll be able to buy that early access kit of all the bars in beginning of June, and then we'll be doing our first sniffs and reviews in the middle of June. So stay forward to that, but I'll probably have to, I'm sure there'll be stuff that I wanna put in there, so some of them will have to go out if I'm gonna put more in. That's just always, I'm gonna have to make some tough cuts and tough decisions, but I'll think about that later. So, all right, so thanks for watching, and I will talk to y'all in our next video. Bye.